Take two. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back. So today I thought we would talk about easy, super easy house plants. Plants that are nearly, almost, impossible to kill. So let's get right into it. For those of you who don't know me, hey, hi, I'm Krista from Plant Lux and I'm here for you for planty content most often, a lot of times. <laughs> okay, so so guys, I, I feel like, you know, it goes without saying in the plant community that Sansevieria is one of the easiest plants to take care of. Uh, are we in agreement? All right. So let's talk about the Sansevieria. This is heavier than I thought it was gonna be. All right. Well, I guess this guy doesn't need water for a while. <laughs> yeah, so this guy was a really cool find um, at Lowe's. And honestly, this Sansevieria, of course they label everything tropical plant, you know, but I felt like it was very well, well thin. Like look how thick this leaf is at the base. I'm saying, it's very, very thick. These ones aren't so thick, but the, the big mama leaves in the back, they're huge. This one especially. Look how wide it is, almost the size of my hand. See? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so really fun, easy care plant is a Sansevieria. So if you're super busy at work, if you're new to plants, Sansevieria, I'd say water once a month, you're good. If you miss a watering, it's not a bad, bad thing, but yeah, I would say once a month and it, it will still look like, you know, showroom quality. So, Sansevieria. Well, technically it's in the Dracaena family now, so. Not that if you're a beginner at plants you care about that per se, but this is what it looks like. It's a very common house plant. All right. It's also known as a snake plant. There are several forms of this plant, like the, this guy right here, it's like a, what is it called? Is that the starfish one? If you're a non-beginner, <laughs> I don't have anything to say. <laughs> Next, ZZ plant. ZZ plant. I'm going to be straight up honest with you. I have never watered this plant. Okay. All right. My daughter watered it when she was here. My son waters it when he thinks about it, which is probably never. Um, yeah. So this probably once a month getting water is enough. So if you're busy, if you travel a lot, if you are just like, you know, non-committal, this is the plant for you. It's a ZZ Zenzi plant. They are super common. You can find them anywhere. Yeah. This is the plant that you want to get if you do not know how to water stuff. Bam. Easy plant. You can't kill it. Well, okay, I take that back. You probably could if you just don't water it at all. You could probably kill it. Because it's kind of like you could starve someone to death, you know, but you don't really want to do that, you know? You could starve a plant to death if you don't ever give it sunlight or water. But this, this one will tolerate lots of situations of not watering and no sunlight. Mine gets zero, really? zero natural light. Zero natural light? Yeah. Really? Where do you have it? In my living room. There's no windows. There's no windows? That's true! <laughs> So yeah, that's testament right there. You can have this in a place with, and, and if you have it in a place where there's no windows, you water it less. So it's even more or less maintenance. So it's a better, even a better situation for someone who doesn't want to commit to having a plant. Um, this is as close to a fake plant that's actually a live plant that you can get. <laughs> All right then. Um, so then we have the Aglionema. Okay, so I've heard mixed reviews on this, this, this guy right here. All right, some people can do it, some people can't. I read horror stories on IG, but I am telling you right now, if you need a plant, this guy is in my basement. I never go in my basement. Look, if my kids are sort of on the, the fly, like on the DL watering these, I, 
I doubt it. I highly, highly doubt it because I go down there and I throw all the plants in the shower and I give them a good soak every two months, maybe one month. <laughs> Whoopsie. But no, I really, I mean, I don't know if you guys can see this or not, but look how dry the soil is on this guy. Like, how dry. Like, it's, it could probably be pulled out how dry it is. Like, you, it's so, so dry. Um, and it still looks really good. So, yeah. You know, I mean, yeah. Agliomema is an easy plant. You, you can put it in low light situation. You cannot water it for a long period of time. I would say three weeks, four maybe. Um, if you go too long without watering, what happens is it just will start dropping leaves, basically. Um, but if you overwater it, then it will really kill it. So this is a really easy care plant for someone who's new to plants, who doesn't have a lot of time to take care of their plants or wants to take care of or has or is in the house. Let's say you travel for four weeks out of the month and there's only four weeks and you're home for a day and you forgot to, to water your plant. Probably want to pick up one of these guys. I'm saying. They, they actually tolerate neglect. They thrive on neglect. So if you are a businessman or a woman or just are, you know, not very good about, you know, taking care of your plants. Do not get high maintenance plants. Get easy maintenance plants that are low on the pest pressure scale. You don't want pest attractors. Bonsai trees, although they're beautiful and attractive, they were manicured by bonsai masters, okay? For multiple years under the care and precision of someone. They're not used to neglect. They're used to constant high maintenance. I know that's a trend right now. I know people want them because they're beautiful and they, oh, they're so amazing. But let me tell you, if you want a bonsai, you better be ready to take care of it, okay? You might want to go for an aglionema or a snake plant or a zizi plant because they're not used to bonsai, fourth generation bonsai masters meticulously taking care of them. Bonsai rant. <laughs> I'm saying I'm going on a bonsai rant. All right, anyway, okay. So another plant, if you're into vining plants, that really honestly <laughs> might get watered occasionally because I, I, I am a very busy mom and I happen to have propagated this more times than I know and my daughter's stolen propagations from here multiple times that I did not even know about. Otherwise, it'd probably be down here. <laughs> We've both taken propagations out this guy. Grows prolifically. The texture is impeccable. I don't even know if the camera can even get it, but it's like watermelon leaves. They're fuzzy, they're velvet-like, they're heavy. They can, they can hold a lot of water in their stem, okay? Because it's a thick stem and it's a thick leaf. Any thick stem or thick leaf variety can hold a lot of water. In this case, this guy right here. You will be very happy and have a lot of fun with a plant like this. This is called a... Um, a polonia repens, watermelon polonia repens. I can't remember the Latin name for that, but I just know that it's called watermelon because the leaves look watermelon-like. Anyway, you will be very happy to have this plant. It's very low maintenance. It likes low light. Don't put it in direct sunlight because when you do, the leaves get sun bleached and it's, a, it's, uh, it's not that it doesn't look nice, it does, it, it's pretty, but if you like them all to look uniform and perfect and the same, keep it in a you know, very sort of low to medium light situation. All right, and then we have the Hoya, the Hoya Publicalix. In this case, this is a very special Hoya Publicalix. This is a rose-colored silver splash or a pink silver splash Hoya publicalis. How I came across the this lucky find is beyond me. I, I just got super lucky. 
um, and just happened to be at the right place at the right time. But this guy is, is super low maintenance, lots of interesting, unique features with the vines and the leaves coming off the vines. So much neat things to look at on this plant. Um, again, I can't say enough about a uh, Hoya. They have thick, very thick leaves. Uh, they store a lot of water in their stems and, and their leaves. And it just looks really appealing to the eye. It's satisfying, you know? It's super low maintenance. You water it every couple weeks. Um, if you have it in a more high lit place, if you're actually trying to bleach the leaves, because you can, some, some people actually purposely put them in the sun to like sun scorch their leaves and that's fine, but it does require more water if you do that. So if you have it in a more low light situation, which is what this video is about, low maintenance, low, you know, if you don't have a lot of light, you, um, you want to water your plants once every three, four weeks then yeah, keep this guy in a lower light situation. He'll thrive, uh -huh, absolutely. And uh, shoot out growth too, like this guy did. Look at this, look at all this growth. And you don't ever wanna cut these crazy viney thingies because as you can see, this is where all the new leaf, if you wanna pan in just a little bit, this is where all the new leaf growth happens is on these little vines. It's really neat, so. Yeah, really cool. Anyway. You have your pothos body too. All right, I'll do that one last. <sighs> so last but not least is obviously the pothos. This is a propagation that I took a while ago and I am going to tell you right now. I'm gonna be straight honest with you. I took this propagation in one of my videos that I made four months ago. I think I watered it two times, maybe if that. The pot was kind of a deeper pot, but it does have this like area where drainage can happen. I have it in a very low lit spot in my bathroom. It, no, it hasn't grown very much. I think really the only growth we've had is like filling out and like this. I know it's gonna it's in takeoff mode right now, I can tell. Like if I stuck this in direct sunlight, it would go insane. But it's in a low lit situation in my downstairs bathroom and that's fine. But what I'm saying to you is this. You give it more light, it's gonna go crazy, you need to water it more. You give it you give it I'm sorry, you give it high light, it's gonna go crazy, it'll grow more. You give it low light, it's going to just take in the water when it needs it, you know, whatever. So I guess my advice to you is, yeah, you want big plants, big whatever, stick it high light, water it regularly. If you're, you know, not into maintenance, you're into easy, low light, don't water it when you see that the soil is, you know, it still looks kind of moist. Like this soil to me it still looks moist because it's black. All right, if it looks dried out and light brown, I'm like, oh shoot, or the leaves look like they're hung over, then you should probably water it. <laughs> but I honestly haven't really done much with this plant. I am saying at all, and I know no one's watering it. Like no one's paying attention to this plant at all. Low light, I potted it. I left it, I forgot it. So a lot of the energy in the propagation was spent on building the root system. So that's probably why. Pothos is a plant for you if you are a low maintenance plant person or a beginner. And I will tell you right now, I have pothos that's in the same size container, it's a, in a better lit area, and it's a propagation, and I cannot give it enough water. It dries out and the leaves will get yellow and fall off and die if I don't water it. I have to water it every two days. Terracotta will make you do that. So if you put your plant like this, any plant in terracotta, you will be watering it more often. So just note to self, if you are a high, you know, if you are never home, don't do terracotta. Keep it in a plastic pot, okay? That's my tip to you. That's it, that's all I have today. So 
you know, pothos, easy plant to take care of. You don't have to do anything other than water it really. Most people don't even fertilize their pothos. They just grow and grow and grow. If you want big leaves though, sunlight and fertilization is key. That's for another video. All right, anyway, thanks for joining me today. My name is Krista, in case you're new here, and we are Plant Lux. And yeah, so come and join us again next time for some more planty adventures. And if you have some great ideas, which I know you do, all of you, all of you do, post them in the comment section below because we are looking for brand new content, fun stuff to talk about, and we want to talk about what you want to hear. And we really look forward to hearing what that is. So please place that in the comment section below. Until then, I look forward to seeing you guys next time. Okay?